Well, hi, this is Chase Swift, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Google Meet. Now, Google Meet is a free video conferencing software, and I've noticed that it's appeared inside of my Gmail. But uh, I'll also give you the web address in case you don't have a Gmail account. Basically, I'll just go up and do a new tab, and the web address is meet, M-E-E-T dot Google dot com. Okay. If you go there, you will be at the Google Meet. You can see that in the top left. And this explains that it's premium video meetings. Now they're free for everyone, which is awesome. Okay. So you can start the meeting here from the website, meet.google.com. Again, I have that right up here. Or it could be handy if you have a Gmail account. You can just go to start a meeting here. I'll click on start a meeting from this little link. It'll open up a new window. And now you can see I'm uh, my web camera is on. You see some controls down here to turn off your microphone. Now I'm doing a separate recording, but um, if I turn this off, it would show uh, as a red icon and it would not broadcast my audio in the meeting. So sometimes you may have background, background, background noise or something like that. I'll leave it on. You can also turn off your web camera. This is on a Mac, so it's turning off my web camera built in. And so obviously you can see the camera is on. I can turn it back on. Over on the right hand side are three little settings, uh, multiple settings. Um, and I'll explain this one real quick. It's captions and it works very well. So if someone's watching your, uh, maybe in a meeting, and they don't want to have their volume on, and have maybe they have a distraction, they can turn down their volume, and then watch you, uh, watch the captions. So I'll click on, uh, it's actually on, so let me turn it uh, off, and back on. Now it won't do anything until we launch the meeting. Over on the right hand side is join now and present. So if you need to go to present your screen or an application window right away, you can do that. Uh, and then this is the link. You, there's a better place that you will see this. And in fact, I'll zoom in on here. There's a unique identifier at the end and that's gonna be yours and it'll create a new one every time, okay? So that's uh, just the link and I'll show you a better place to send that out uh, to other people that will join your meeting, okay? Um, and also, it's mm -hmm. telling me down here to avoid echo, okay? Use the same device for your mic and, and speaker. So I'm speaking to um, my, basically I'm on a MacBook Pro. I have my earbuds in and they're connected to my computer, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and click join now. And basically, it's coming up and you can see the captions are on. As I'm talking, captions are turned on and those that are in the room in the meeting that may have their sound turned down or maybe they don't have good audio connection, they can read what you're saying, okay? I also have copy joining info right here. This will copy the link and everything they need to know to join your meeting. Okay, you can also add people that are in your Google contacts. Okay, I'm going to click on j copy joining info and you can see bottom left it says joining info has been copied to the clipboard. The clipboard is your computer memory, so it's in memory. Okay, now what I'll do is close this little window with the X. Okay, so now my camera is working, the audio is working and the, uh, the uh, captions are working really well. And down here is a button at the lower right. I can turn off captions. So pretty darn awesome. I'll turn it off. And that makes my uh, video uh, screen just appear. Now I'm going to go over here to the settings. I'll come back to present now in just a moment. This is very intuitive, by the way. Okay. Um, over on the right hand side, I just want to talk about some of the settings. The layout is pretty simple and you'll see the change as things happen. This is where maybe the main speaker is, this big rectangle, and then any uh, visitors that are in the meeting will appear here. The spotlight is just who's ever speaking so you don't you lose the, the other people that are in the room with the spotlight. And then the tiled is all the people in the meeting all with their webcams on. They can turn them off as well.
and it's set to auto. So that's pretty nice. So I'll close that. Um, under the three dots again, uh, you can go full screen, which could be handy. So let me go to that. Obviously, uh, everything is eliminated. It's just full screen and makes it very nice. Okay. So I'll go back under the three dots. Um, you saw captions and then settings. This is where you may want to control some of the settings of your the quality of your video and your audio. Now it's built in. Uh, my audio is built in, and you can see the little icon. I'm going to zoom on. Eh, I can't zoom on in that. Uh, but basically, if it's moving and green, uh, your audio is being picked up. You can also do a test of your speakers and click on the test. I I would hear it through my earbud. Okay. So I'll click on, um, actually, and then I'll go to video. And you're going to see that there's a setting for standard definition on your video. This might look a little soft. And if you have a really fairly good internet connection, you can click on here and go to the higher resolution of 720p. It's basically a high definition YouTube quality. Okay, so just click on that. It may just uh, flutter for a moment in the background, but your quality will be higher. You can also change the maximum resolution for when you receive video from other people, their, their webcams. And you can change that from 360 to 720 as well. I have a very good internet connection, so that's not a problem. And you can click done. There is some more things under general, but um, I don't worry about There's really not much there. I'll click on done. Okay, so now you see the quality of my video has actually improved. On the far left, uh, we'll cover this. Um, here are the meeting details. If you need to copy the joining info, the link and all the information, someone that may not have joined or they, they need that information sent to them. Uh, you can also use Google Calendar and attachments that are set up in Google Calendar. I haven't done that in this case. And for the most part, I just use this on the fly. Okay, we'll go back to details. And I'll just click down here to get rid of those details. Okay. In the middle uh, area are the settings for audio. If you need to mute yourself because of maybe background noise, click down here. And that will uh, um, basically mute you. Okay. And see, it's picking up that I'm talking. So it says, do you mean to have this on? <laughs> because it's off. So just click that on and you'll be able to talk through Google Meet. The uh, webcam it turns off here. So if you have an icon for your Gmail or your Google account, that will show there. Okay. As you turn on your web camera, everything returns to normal. Okay. Uh, I covered captions. Present now is really simple for those that want to present uh, your screen or your desktop. Just click on present now. This will open up the three options. So you can present your entire screen, which is probably most handy for uh, beginners, because that way you don't have to uh, worry. Whatever you see is what you, uh, whatever you see on your screen, is being presented to the meeting participants. Now a window means maybe like Google Chrome, just your browser, and maybe you have other applications running that you don't necessarily want to show. So you can do just a window, and a Chrome tab is just as it is it's part of chrome and it would be one tab that is shown uh, i'm going to go back out of uh, full screen mode i'll click on present now that'll go away i'm going to hit the escape button and i'll go back to um, basically a normal view i'm going to slide this over i'm going to look at see i have two tabs so i could even uh, the tab i could share is google meet I will just hide that for now and show you it's kind of fun that you can show just one specific tab okay so I'm gonna to go to present now I'm gonna pick a Chrome tab and it appears and you're gonna see um, I have a number of tabs I have some other windows on another screen that's kind of confusing um, but I can go right there I believe and choose share okay so it shows that I'm presenting my screen uh, and it's presenting. It's hard to, to imagine this, but it's presenting just that tab. And so I could go back to this tab 
and this is the tab that would be presenting to the meeting participants okay as I come back remember I have two windows okay so you have to remember that if you happen to share just a tab remember you have two windows this is a web browser window and so is this and it has two tabs do a little practice and you'll you'll be just fine um, things are getting a little crazy here let me move that back click on this window and now I'm back and anytime you want to stop presenting just click the button to stop presenting the presentation audio if you're playing let's say a YouTube video it'll attempt to play that audio through to the other participants as well and you can turn that on or off okay so most of the time I think it's best if you don't do that you need fairly good internet but give it a try and practice I'll click stop presenting and by the way before I do you can see my uh, video camera is still presenting and it's presenting the screen there too so it's a little weird when you are the presenter I'll click stop presenting so my encouragement is give this a try uh, test it maybe with someone that has uh, the time to go through and help you understand it and they can join and you can hear them so it's a good idea to test this before a very important meeting or if you just want to hang out and chat with uh, friends and family um, give it a whirl and it's pretty easy and remember it's free okay and you can have up to 100 that's quite a few 100 participants and it can go on for really unlimited length it's you know you're not going to be on here for 27 days all at once so um, unlimited length is pretty awesome okay when you're done just come down to the uh, red telephone and it says leave call when you click that you if you started the meeting it will close uh, I should also point out here's some uh, an icon where it shows everyone I'm the only one in the web room right now by the way if you want to you can click and pin uh, if you're the presenter or if someone else is in the presentation room uh, the meeting room you can pin them in their video remains on everybody's screen so if they're doing an important presentation you can come over if you're the host click on that pin and you just click on it and it pins their video and what they're saying as people are coming into the room it's not going to uh, shift over and switch over to their um, webcam if there's uh, sound detected or something like that okay so I'll unpin that there's also a little chat uh, you can chat pe with people and some people will ask questions discreetly so they don't interrupt you the presenter so you'll say uh, just hi that was awesome and that way they can uh, say you know comment in, in this chat and you can have that open on the side okay and people won't interrupt you so this is really quite nice it's completely free and you can have up to 100 people in your meeting and uh, let me go share the meeting details and I'm gonna copy that okay I'm gonna go over to my Gmail I'm gonna compose a Gmail message and I'll just show you when you paste that meeting information it's one little link okay so um, you can address it and give it a subject line but this is the link that someone needs to join all they have to do is click and um, and they will say join the meeting it's really two-step easy and I really like how simple it is to invite other people so this has been uh, just a quick review and um, how to on how to use Google meet uh, I like it from inside of Gmail where it can start a meeting or join a meeting and if you join a meeting you'll get a code and it's, it's the last four links uh, uh, characters of the link okay but starting a meeting is really easy you just click there it'll turn on your camera you can turn on uh, your uh, audio and turn on leave your camera on if you want to turn on captions again uh, that's really cool I love that turn that on you join now everybody has to clean click join now it'll launch and um, you can send the copy information as well as you see down below the captions are working really nicely and it might not be a hundred percent but it's really super 
to be able to be talking and someone can be reading this just to make sure for clarity that they are hearing what you are saying. So, thanks for hanging out with me on this video. By the way, um, I do have a sideline business, actually a sideline project that uh, helps people earn passive income. And I use Google Meet quite a lot. So if you have some interest in a passive way to earn some extra income, and I mean it's passive, there's nothing you have to do, there's no websites that you have to click on, nothing. It's just basically a very simple way to earn a passive income that works anywhere in the world. And again, I use Google Meet myself for these types of meetings to help people earn passive income. You can go to my website, chaseswift.com. There will be a link in the description of the video, or you can just go to chaseswift.com. Okay. Yep, it even got it in the comments there. There, there doesn't, there's not a space in between my name. It's all together. Okay. So thanks for hanging out with me and learning about Google Meet. I hope you use it. I'm going to go ahead and uh, leave this call. And I'm going to return back to the home screen. And there I am. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, review. Uh, if you would like, leave me a positive comment down below. I would also like any new subscribers. I do lots of videos on Google this and Google that. <laughs> and show you how to be very effective with your computer. So again, if you want to learn more about how to earn a passive income online, nothing you have to do, go to the link below or just go to the web chaseswift.com and I have free information that will uh, help you understand and give you basically all the details you need. Thanks for hanging out with me. Have a great day. Bye for now.